Um, it's just was an emphasis on coming in and not making a moment bigger than what it is. Obviously, we got a, a lot of young guys, and um, for them to come out and perform like they did today and show up, um, it wasn't perfect, but um, we've done a lot of good things, and uh, that's what you want to see in growth. What do you see in Corey Coleman? I mean, we... Oh, he's a good young receiver, man. Uh, you know, when you get a guy early in the draft like that, you don't know how they're going to come. You don't know if they're going to have a learning curve. But he seems to have it all right now. Um, and he's doing an excellent job. He's going to do well for us this year. Looks like he had a little veteran move there against you. He did, he did. He did. We got, we got to talk to the refs about that, though. <laughs> <laughs> we got to. But, um, you know, it, it's part of the game now, man. It's, uh, um, some of those calls you'll get and some of them you want. You got to live with them and do it just like I've done the next play and make a play on the ball. So that's the, that's the life we live. That's what we signed up for. Isn't that impressive, though, for a rookie coming in? No doubt, man. Um, I mean, I've seen some rookies come in, and um, and they, they don't catch on that fast. But to see him come out and do what he's been doing, man, it's been awesome to see. Um, I think we got a good young team. Um, just like everybody else, I don't know how many more games we'll win. But, <laughs> you know, I think that the foundation is being set right. What is the difference between this off uh, defense and what you were in last year that you've been in at Carbon? Say that between again. The difference between the defense this year and, and, uh, and last year. And last year, um, first of all, we got a um, scheme is similar, but a lot different. We got a lot of different things we do this year. Um, the coach is very, very smart. Um, guy's been in this league, been defensive coordinator um, for a lot of different teams and pretty much been in the top 10 with everybody, everywhere he's been. Um, and he's played the game. He's played the game, so he understands the players. Um, anything that we like, we can go to him and tell him. And anything that we don't like, he won't call it. So um, for a player, that's big. Um, so I think he, we just have a good chemistry among the coaches that we have. Jim, I want to do to defense when you have a quarterback and a receiver that can connect on the deep ball and show that they can do that more than once? Um, you frustrate them. You try to take that part of the game from them. And, um, and if you can do that, um, you know, you can kind of stop what they're trying to do offensively. Uh, but a lot of offenses are not patient enough to not throw the ball deep. And if you can uh, frustrate them from throwing a deep ball, then I think, you know, you'll win a lot of games. What have you noticed about uh, Robert's uh, progression here in this offense? Um, I think he's been doing an excellent job. You know, from when he first got here to now, man, some of the balls that he threw today, um, the location that he put put him at, um, it was amazing. I actually went up to him um, on the field after he threw uh, the ball in the corner of the end zone, and I told him, I said, man, if you if you throwing the ball like that, I said, you're going to throw a lot of touchdowns this year. So um, that's impressive what he came in and do so far. Is this a team that, you know, when you go face your point, there, you know, kind of proud of the team that you're, that you're on this year, how mm -hmm. hard you guys are working and what you're building? No doubt about it. Um, you know, um, this team right here kind of, kind of remind me of where I came from, you know, from uh, just that organization. Um, first class um, is doing things, trying to do things the right way. And uh, when you're trying to do that, um, all you can do is come out and give your all. Everybody's giving their all from the guys upstairs to the guys, you know, down here, the last guy on the roster, everyone is giving their all. So um, all we can do is just come out and just have fun while, while they're doing it. Justin had uh, a couple balls caught on today. Can you kind of assess where he is at right now? Oh, man, it was um, a couple of the balls. Like I told Justin, it was uh, one of the balls that Robert threw in the corner of the end zone was amazing. I mean, he was in great position. I told him to forget about that. You know, forget about it. That's going to happen in this league. He's in perfect position. The ball is thrown all the way to the pylon to where only the receiver can get it. You got to live with those. Um, the ones that you don't want to live with is the ones that you just totally blow. You, know, you can't blow things out. And he's not doing none of that. Um, most of the time you watch the film, he's only a step away here or there. And he's, he's not in bad position. So I think he's progressing as a player. Um, he's really growing from a mental standpoint. Um, I think um, last year, um, you know, you'll see a guy with their head down after a play like that. But 
came right back. He wanted to make a play, and that shows growth. That shows growth. Is that where he's needed to grow the most? Do you think mentally? I think he needs to he needs to grow mentally for sure. That's that's the toughest part of the game. You know, physically we all can do it. You know, there's a lot of good football players who are at home right now without opportunity. Physically, we all can do it. It's who can get, who who can do it mentally, who can stay in the game mental enough to come out and uh, and a, just able to make a career out of it. Because a lot of guys can't do it. You talked about first class. What separates great defense from good? Truthfully, small things. Really, just being smart. I can remember last year. Um, you know, uh, we came out and we played some good defense, and at times we just wasn't smart enough on the field. And whether we got penalties and gave guys first downs, those those things turn into points. You know, um, it's just being smart. I, just, I I went back and watched a lot of film, and I and I feel that if we just would have been a smart enough team, we would have won at least four more games. We wasn't smart enough.